Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of changes for the Gurjaras that should be coming in a patch due to drop sometime in August. Since release, Gurjaras have really been crushing it on 1v1 open maps, and it was pretty obvious some sort of nerf was coming, and now we have access to an early version of the patch so we can see what's being planned. The changes we're talking about here are still subject to change, but presently include a couple of tweaks to their bonuses and the Shravampshire Rider. So let's check them out. The first big change is to their very unique mill bonus. Previously, garrison sheep into mills gave 3.5 food per minute for each one. For example, you'd get 28 food per minute with all of your starting 8 garrisoned, which worked out to about 1.5 extra shepherds worth of income. It didn't matter if all the sheep were in one mill or split between multiple, as originally they all gave the same food rate. The way this tends to be used in practice is to make a very early mill with one of your starting villagers on berries, and then put all of your sheep in it as soon as you can find them. To make up for the lost early food, players typically take an early boar and then push deer a little earlier than usual, while also chopping straggler trees to build their first lumber camp. Of course, you're locking up 800 food, and the return is a very slow trickle that on paper takes around 25 minutes to pay off, though at the same time the passive income frees up some extra villagers to chop wood, making early farms easier to accommodate. The consensus has been this is overall a good bonus if you're able to manage the unusual economic start, which might be a factor in why Grajaras have actually done noticeably better at higher elo ratings than at lower ones. That's also a bit of a pattern we see with Chinese, who have a similar, more complicated start. Surprisingly though, the bonus is not being nerfed in the upcoming patch, but actually improved. Switching to the new patch, with one sheep it'll now give 7 food per minute, as opposed to 3.5. Basically, you get double the previous benefit for at least sheep number one. Now though, instead of all sheep acting the same, there's now a diminishing return for each one you add to a mill. While each sheep you add does increase the total food income, each additional one gives a bit less than the one before. It turns out if you put in all eight sheep that you start with around your town, it works out to be the exact same income as in the previous patch, but any fewer than eight sheep is actually now an improvement. To see it visually, here the blue line represents the previous bonus as you added more sheep, improving as a linear function. In contrast, the rate for the upcoming patch is shown in red, and you can see with fewer sheep it ends up giving a pretty noticeable advantage. The main implication is if someone steals two of your sheep, you're somewhat insulated from any negative effects, as the final sheep added are the least important. Alternately, you could eat two of your sheep if you were short on early food sources and not lose out on as much as you would have before. Of course, by the same token, if you manage to get more than 8 sheep in a mill, this is actually a bit of a nerf, though there's a way to get around that. One way you can exploit the new system is by putting sheep in different mills, as splitting them as much as possible preserves the better rate. Splitting 8 sheep between 2 mills, for example, gives about 10 more food per minute than keeping them all in one, as the game doesn't seem to track how many sheep you have globally. Personally, I'm a little surprised they chose to buff this bonus, given Grajar's top tier performance, but as we'll see in a minute, it's just one of a few changes, and we have to think about all of them together. The second set of changes is going to be to the Shravampshire Rider, which is actually the most game-changing unit the Grajar's have, in my opinion. It's a very strong response in early Castle Age if you're under pressure from either archers or crossbows, and double as great raiders as well, soaking up town center arrows without taking a lot of damage. It's not even just shrugging off arrows, but their speed also makes them dangerous, actually moving faster than knights and even light cavalry. To weaken them a bit against archers, their recharge rate is being slowed, so it now takes 20 seconds instead of 15 to fully recharge. It's a pretty small tweak, and basically every 4 seconds now they'll negate an attack, as opposed to every 3 seconds before. A full charge still negates the first 5 projectiles they receive, or 7 shots if they're elite, and while this is definitely a nerf, I wouldn't say it's a drastic one. And speaking of their elite upgrade, it's also having its cost reshuffled, increasing its food and lowering its gold cost. Again, this seems like it's actually a buff, costing fewer total resources and significantly less gold. And finally, their extra mounted unit bonus damage is going to be decreased from plus 50% to just plus 40%. To give a quick snapshot of what that could mean, knights are going to survive one more hit, and buildings will take slightly longer for armored elephants to bring down, though other cases like scouts against monks are going to be unchanged. I could definitely see this bonus being brought down from 40 to something like 33% in the future, though I think they're trying to be cautious about fiddling with too many dials at once and trying to make small incremental changes. Combined with the Shravampshire Rider nerf, you're slightly weaker as Grajars now to both cavalry and archer sieves, while in many cases their early economy is unaffected. It's hard to see them not staying number one on open maps even after these upcoming changes, as the sieve still has a lot of good weapons, and possibly an even better early economy in some situations. We'll have to see later in the month how all of this works in practice, but those are the changes we know of, at least at this point, are coming. 
That'll do it for this one though. Let me know what you think of the nerf and if they're targeting the right things here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.